Hello everybody and welcome back to Doll TV, aka The Doll Shop Show. Well, what is The Doll Shop Show? It's a show that I created that gives you a behind the scenes reality type look into the inner happenings and what is happening in our doll shop in Colorado. So we are in Denver, Colorado. We are turn of the century antiques and we specialize in antique, vintage, and we also have wonderful modern dolls too because we have our Robert Tonner Grace doll. So we have, we love to do a little bit of everything and just anything that is fun and beautiful and makes you happy is what we like to do. So welcome everybody. It is so fun to see you and to be here at the doll shop show. So what we're going to talk about right now is I'm going to tootle on over to where Linda is working in the back and we are going to look at the outfit that she is putting on the wrestler. Do you guys remember the antique wrestler doll that we had last week? I believe it was last week. It might have even been the week before our weeks go so quick, but the wrestler doll was so cute and we fixed her up and got her all ready to go. And now we're going to put our finishing touches on her, which is a little outfit and get her wig ready and everything. We also have some cute little artisan wrestlers that are available, which we will show you too. And then we're going to see what other projects we can get going on and work on. So if you are new to these videos, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you like it, give me a comment. Let me know that you're here with me and it is so fun to be hanging out with you guys. So I'm going to turn the camera around and you're going to see a little bit of what it kind of looks like where I am, which is the other side of the wall where uh, Linda works doing a lot of the doll repair. And hopefully you guys can see um, what I'm working on. So this is kind of my area where I work and do a lot of things. I have a new little counter right here that I can work and do some things on right there and my uh, laptop and just different things. And I like taking pictures right here. I have some fun different backgrounds and stuff like that. So it's just kind of a fun area that I work on. I have a lot of areas at the shop, but this is my little spot. There's some of our gray stalls hanging out. They just look so pretty in their different outfits and we just have a lot of fun. So we're going to go and see what's going on with our antique wrestler. Take a peek at the artisan wrestlers and just see what other fun we can get into. Hi, everybody that's tuning in. So great to see you. Thank you for being here with me today on this beautiful Thursday. So let me turn the camera around and we'll go take a peek on what else is going on. So let's let's turn it around. So um, this is my table of projects that I'm working on right here that we're going to get going on to. And a lot of you have asked me about those Raggedy Ann and Andes. They are not ready because we are... I am fixing the feet on, I believe, Miss Anne. So let's just, and there's the new always buying sign. Isn't that so cool? Uh, I just love it. So let's go see what's going on. Of course, Murray is being very bossy, but uh, Linda, so good to see you, my dear. Yes. Uh, did you have a fun vacation? I did. A good, a good trip to visit your son. I did. Good. That's awesome. You were in California last weekend. I was. Yeah. For four days. For four days. What was the, um, she was in California. What was the funnest part? What, one of the funnest things that you did besides all the wonderful food? The food. <laughs> the food was great. Um, the safari. I love the safari. And it was like a wildlife preserve type thing, right? It was. Yes. And it was really fun to see all the animals wandering in a large area right. instead of being pacing them. And to see what they're doing to preserve the, um, the what is it? The, the, the land and the wildlife and the animals the wildlife that need help. To preserve and, their, yeah. 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 And um, then little, little. Little Italy was Little great. Italy, yes. Oh, I'm sure you fun. had some wonderful food Little, there. Yes. But I think I really loved the um, hot and spicy crawfish. Oh, that sounds good. It was fun. It was really fun. They serve everything in a bag. Oh, how and, fun. And oh, I, I saw pictures. Yeah, and you yes. had a big napkin on. Yeah. And bit. they serve it on the table. Yeah, and, and they serve it on the table. Yes, yeah, so they just bring you the bag and then you eat on the bag. So it's fun. It's fun. So it's for those fun. that are just tuning in, Linda was in California visiting her son last weekend. So we're glad she's back, but I'm glad she had a really good time. I did. Yay. So let's, um, oh my gosh, you guys, Murray is just literally, okay. Am I going to have to go get him? Go get him and we'll see him on my life. Oh gosh. Okay. So let's, let's go and get, <laughs> thank you, Murray. Thank you for just not even letting me talk to my friends for two seconds here. 
All right. So we got the myrrh. We're taking him back because he just has to be a part of everything, literally. And yeah, we're going to put him on the back of Linda's chair right here. And then he will give us some peace. All right. Okay. okay. So, so much fun happening right here. Linda, everyone's so glad to see you again. The videos we do with you are some of our viewers' favorites. If they're some of your favorites, guys, let me know. I, I know that they are because they tell me. So, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what are we working on right here? This sweet okay. little wrestler. This is a wrestler that I grabbed. I remembered I needed to cover her up really quick so she just had something there oh so we don't get flagged for i don't i didn't want to be flagged yes no that was quite embarrassing but we went through all of our boxes okay we so here's the, the stash let's look at the stash everybody here's some more stash this is wonderful stash a lot of these have um i've had made for us a lot of them we just get here and there wherever we get them and we save them up for when we need to dress a doll so what i basically did was go through you go through, and you can tell that that's not going to fit. But your main thing is you can kind of hold it up and see from side to side. You can see that that's not going to fit. A lot of times we have to take them up or take take things off. This is our little um, underwear stash, stash right here. If you guys have an underwear stash, let us know. I'm sure everyone is used to having an underwear stash. But There's really no rhyme or reason to this. It's We've nicely put it in there, but... Okay, you can see. This is really little. Here's a bigger slip. This would work, but it's way too big, and it would take too much time to take up. So what I came up with was these little drawers. Those are very sweet. And they were too long, so I had to take them up right here. And I also had to extend the loop for the button. So that will fit. Make sure I'm putting... Okay, we're just going to go full throttle here and show... Because we got flagged on that huge doll. So, because I do want you guys to see, see the her. wonderful body. Look, okay. look at this. It's gorgeous. It's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's so Wrestler cute. Wrestler bodies are so wonderful. Look at that. It has a little blush on, the, on their little tummy. Right here. Yes. On the tops of her hands, her yes. elbows. Just, just wonderful. They're so chunky, Chubby. and they, they're called wrestler because they are, they're reminiscent of a wrestler, a big old chunky wrestler. I just love their big chunky bodies. And look at them. It's really interesting how straight and even those lines are. The blue line. Mm -hmm. I no love the uh, shoes. Look Aren't those the just wonderful? Look at the notice on them. They are. What it, let, let me see the bottom of them again. It almost looks like... They're brown. I just... They're so cool. So you yeah. would, you'd paint that first and then paint the black. So how many firings does it take to make one of these? A lot, probably. Um, probably not that many. About four or five. Okay. So not yeah. as many as a No. Because you, you weren't painting the eyes or anything. But look at the eyebrows. Yeah. Look at the strokes there. Yeah. This doll came with the wonderful brew that we have been working on, the one that um, she's just actually hanging out right over there in the box, and we've been working on her, so she's going to be done uh, soon so we can display her. I but. don't know. Let's see if I can get something red to put down there. I want you to see her teeth. Ah. Can you see them now? The two little... They have bottom teeth and two on the top. Very interesting. Ah, they're so... I, and I've seen a lot of variations of this doll. Yes. But I've never seen them with the little bottom teeth. And those are set in. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? That is Love so that. cool. So fun. It's so... It's so such a sweet doll. It is. So she's going to have these little drawers... These are just simple cotton little drawers. You guys can make these. Mm -hmm. okay, if you're tuning in today, let, let us know where you're tuning uh -oh. in from. Murray is just, you guys, he's being the worst. He's mm -hmm. right here. 
Okay. Yeah, He's watching too. Put him on my lap. I can handle. Oh it. my gosh. Here. It's the the trial. The trials have happened. And I swear, the older he gets, the worse he gets. Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm getting. <laughs> like having a toddler on your lap oh it is look at his little paw sticking out look at, him. Look look at his little <laughs> murray <laughs> stay away from the wrestler <laughs> okay i need my scissors right there they are no you aren't jumping down oh my gosh any dog moms or human moms out there will understand what this is like you're trying to just get something done while trying to stay patient and take care of your young this little dress I found in the, oh, pre-made dresses. Yes. Is he nudging your, <laughs> he's nudging her hand. Okay, Murray, I have to, I'm sorry. I am, I'm taking him because you guys, what he's doing is he's nudging her hands to get pets while she's trying to dress this doll. Yes, Murray's seal of approval. This is sweet. Now, what I don't see, and I've seen wrestlers dressed in all kinds of clothes. I don't know what they would, quote, typically wear. But honestly, if I had one, I might even just display her naked. She is so cute naked. Yeah. She did have to have hooks and eyes. They had some hooks, but the eyes were meant not made. Okay, one, two more there. Right there. Okay. This was the paint that we found. So what we usually do to put the paints on is just usually use a little bit of masking tape. It's so much easier than using um, especially glue or even museum wax. It's just cleaner and it's just easier to get off. This is what I do to keep the wigs on because I personally do not like museum wax. It gets in the hair. It gets in the hair and then when we have to ship the doll, we have to take the wigs off and, and you know, stuff the, stuff heads, the so. heads and then they, the wax even gets more into the hair. So Yeah, the wax can be just a mess on wigs. Okay, here we go. So cute. Just use a little bit of good old masking tape and and it keeps it in place. And you can always change your wig. And you haven't destroyed the wig or the the doll there. She is so cute. Oh, my gosh. So cute. What do you guys think? I think she is darling. She is a nice, big, old, chunky one. I think she's about 9, 10 mm. inches tall. She's a big one. See. But she is so cute. So, let's see how big she is. Nine. Nine. Wow. Okay, so what I have, which is so exciting for you guys, is my friend Rebecca, she made us some little artisan wrestlers. And so these are newly made, and they are so cute. And oh, I love I love their little chunky bodies. Thanks. They have the chunky bodies, um, all the fun little things. And they are kind of like a souvenir piece of, of like... An antique wrestler. They're ones that you can sew for. I what do you, what Linda for for the the ones like this? Aren't they just so fun to just kind of sew for? They're fun. To, yeah, you could take a hanky, make a little dress. You could just uh, take scraps and just have fun and put them in a little trunk. Yes, and you could just have a sewing workshop you absolutely could so these dolls are 165 dollars which an antique wrestler is several thousand um depending on the condition and and stuff like that but these ones are just nice they're just little travel ones they're just fun so they're 165 and they come nude but we also have these cute little wonderfully crocheted little outfits which include underwear aren't they beautifully crocheted they are i mean they are worth their money it, right there. Yes. I mean, this this little crocheted outfit is really cute. It fits her perfectly. Look at she the has buttons. little. She has three little buttons in the back. Some of them are different. This one's really cute. Look at this. 
Oh, so, oh, look at those buttons. buttons. Oh, that that is darling. That is darling. So, Rebecca Heisel, um, you did a great job with these. They are so much fun. And so you can get them full payment, and we'll ship them right out today. They're 165 Or, you guys, we have Flex Pay, where you can just do, it's about $44 a month for four months, and then you can just get it after a couple months. So you don't have to pay in full right now if you just want to snag one of these cute little wrestlers. I have 10 of them. Oh, my gosh. They are so stinking cute. Look at their little, look at their little boots. They're cute. So they're eight inches tall and they're wonderful little sizes. And I just think they're so cute. So you can get one of these. They come with these cute little wigs and then these uh, crochet outfits are separate and they're a mystery print. We have all kinds of wonderful prints and I'll choose something fabulous for you. And it comes with the underwear. So you're all, you're kind of all set there. So you are. It's, they, it looks like her little hatchlings. They are. <laughs> <laughs> to me, they look like like Easter eggs. They do look like Easter eggs. They are kind of perfect for Easter, aren't they? By a couple. Yeah, there you go. Put them in your Easter, Easter basket. basket. Yes, treat yourself. Self. Treat yourself, Self. everybody. So that's fun. I'm really glad we got to show everybody the completed piece of our little wrestler and show everyone the cute little hat, the cute little... um. I almost called them hatchlings, but they are so sweet. Um, a lot of really wonderful artists make these. The Carmel Doll Shop has some fabulous ones um, that have been made by Carl Armstrong. Um, they're wonderful, too. And so you can, you know, if you can, actually, it's so fun to make these, but um, you need to go to a, a doll making school. Mm -hmm. Linda, are there any doll making schools that you know of? Well, you would have to look on the Doll Artists and Guild website, and you would have to go under sources back there and all the people and you would have a list of all the studios yes and so you are one of them in yes. colorado there yeah. probably aren't too many in colorado not advertising there's like two or three mm -hmm. um small ones but uh yeah they're, yeah they're wonderful yeah it's, it's a fun thing to do and you end up having tons of friends the doll artists and guild everybody you can go and you can find and so do you have to be a member of the doll artists and guild to, to do the doll making classes or how does that no but you won't get credit if you don't have, okay and so if, if you're looking for a cert yes if you want to um go ahead and you could compete even without mm -hmm. being but you have to be a member so you mm -hmm. might as well join and then get the magazine and all the educational benefits. Then um, it's just so much fun. I can't describe how much fun it is. And you learn and you meet so many people. Yeah. And people are what makes it fun. People are what makes it fun. I went to the Doll Artists and Guild convention when it was in Colorado uh, last October. Or the October before. Mm -hmm. And we had so much fun. So that is for if you want to learn to make dolls. And you want to do what is um, shown right here. So you can you can make these wonderful dolls. So if you have a love of the dolls. And you want to make your own. It is so fun to do. So I like personally to appreciate and to love. And to have a little bit of everything. So these are sweet little artist renditions. And then of course this wonderful little antique girl. is just such a delight. And it is fun to share it with everybody. I want you to notice the difference in size because, okay, that's what happens when we reduce, we make a mold of this, this doll. It will reduce this much when we pour it and fire it. That's wild. It's the mold. This doll is made from this mold, but this is how much they shrink. That is how one of the reasons you can tell. If it's a reproduction. That is absolutely wild. That is really important to uh, take into consideration, especially with the unscrupulous people who make dolls to try and, yeah. um, and try these and are, these are pass all them signed. off as antiques. Right. No, right. these are. Yeah. So you yeah, can see it's 2019. It has her neck. signature. Right. And you can but tell But I believe this. these ones are eight inches. They're seven and a oh, half. Oh, seven and a half. Okay. And so then she's nine. She's nine. So that's about the shrinkage. She just looks massive compared to these ones it's amazing yes so how we, much they do shrink. if they made another mold off of this one then it should even be smaller and smaller and smaller tiny 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 oh i think we need some little pocket wrestlers some little yeah some little tiny tiny one like a four little, inch one no like i'm talking like two inches <laughs> oh that would be fun that would so before we sign off what is what's going on with our little um our wonderful little um 
a Chinese baby back here. He's well, so stinking cute. He is very, very cute. He's all original. But This he's, wonderful all original Gump outfit is just so amazing. He has a little bit of repair and then his face needs to be cleaned. And I was just looking at him and he has just a teeny bit of glue gluing his wig on. So I'm just going to protect all the clothing and I'm going to clean his face and his hands. Looking at it, it's all stitched on and I don't want to disturb it. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I just want to show our viewers, look at how intricate this embroidery is on his outfit. And it's lifted up. Look at this. It has, yeah, it's like 3D. It's 3D, but look at the lining. You can see. It's very fragile. Fragile. Are you going to use great glue to help stabilize that a little bit? Or I don't just know what I'm going to do. I might just leave it. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm mainly going to clean the hands and, and stabilize, you know, protect the clothing. And then I have, um, some of these beads have come loose and we've found them all. And we're going to put it right here. I think it belongs right there. Yes, I think one of the little one of the little pieces. Um, actually, when I pulled him out of the okay. wrapping, it it flew off, and the beads actually flew across the room. You can imagine how that felt. I'd and have I, to pull a picture. Yeah, and, and I went and I think found as many of the beads as I could. could. But there it is. And then this needs to be tacked on. Like it is right here. Every collection, if you guys like to collect Kessners, needs a Kessner Asian baby. Oh, they yes. are so divine, so happy. These costumes are just exquisite. If you can get it in the original, what they call Gump outfit, oh man, so great. I'm going to move that little hair because it makes it look like a crack. crack. So he's just going to get cleaned. I am. I'm just going to clean him. And but look at his. Much. Nope. I'm not going to remove anything. Look at that. His it, little, oh, so sweet. So he is just going to look so much better. Let's see if we can turn him around so our viewers can see what the mark looks like. Um, this is called an, oh my gosh, what is this called? Uh, oh, I hate when I can't, when I'm, I'm not. It's called a, like a koi or something. It's, it's, it's what the, much. this is. But anyway, let's see. Okay. And this has doll has not been looked at for like 25 years. So see where it says made in Germany, 243 JDK. Okay. So that's what it looks like. And they have this wonderful olive tint. So wonderful. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this peek into what we're, uh, what we got going on and our little wrestler girl who feels so good to be in her clothes and our sweet little artisan made dolls that we have available for you. And we'll show you guys pictures of when he's done because he doesn't need a whole lot, but he's going to look so sweet when he's done. Just like a little spring chicken. Yep. A Q. A Q. A Q. Thank you, Christine Harrison. A Thank Q. You. And it's spelled K-E-W? Oh, Q phonetic. Isn't it spelled like Q-U-E? It's a Q. Yes. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Yep, that's what that ponytail is. Look at the teeth. They're rounded. Versus these are straight. Oh, I just and I just love both. But I love those, those chunky teeth. They're called square teeth. Mm -hmm. I love them. And he's got sleep eyes such a cutie all right she's gonna get him cracking and he's gonna look so good we'll, we'll post some pictures for you guys so you can see him and we hope you enjoyed your our little peek into the shop thank you so much linda thank you all right bye-bye